All right, here we are on our second video of lesson 14. And as you can see, we have a place value chart up and ready because now we're practicing multiplying by place value charts. Uh, last time was number lines. This time is place value charts. And um, so let's jump right in. Um, we are going to multiply three times 62 hundredths. So you can see here, that I have one, two, three, four, five, six tenths, right? So that's six tenths. And then I have two hundredths. So that's two hundredths. So that's 62 hundredths, right? And I'm going to do three times that. So I have three of them. All right. So I think I'll just erase that to make it a little bit easier. And if we have three of them, right, we might need to regroup because you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten right here. And I can't put two digits. I can't put a one and a ten inside my tenths place. So I need to regroup every time I have ten tenths. Sorry, that's an arrow. And I need to change that to one. Yeah, you see that? 10 tenths becomes one. Do I have 10 more tenths? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just have eight. So I'm going to go ahead and write an eight here. So I know that that's eight tenths. Now let's see how many hundredths I have. One, two, three, four, five, six just six hundredths and i can just write six because it's under the hundredths place or i could put a zero there and show that this is six hundredths right so now i have one and eight tenths and six hundredths how would i write that all together one and eighty six hundredths okay now let's try that with a vertical form so that we can see this regrouping in the vertical form, I'm going to start with, you know what, let me just erase, grab my eraser. Oh, I didn't mean to clear the screen, but that's okay. Um, we'll just have to remember that we got this six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we took it over there, right? And then we had eight left, and then we had six left. Okay, so now we have our vertical form. 62 hundredths. We always write the number that has the most digits on the top when we multiply and then times three. Okay. So then we would multiply three times two is six. You see the six hundredths. That's our six hundredths right there. Two hundredths times three. Then we're going to multiply our six tenths times three and we counted 18 of them. So we have eight in the tenths place, right? That's in the tenths place. And then we carry our one over into the ones place because we can't have 18 of them in the tenths place. We need to move one of them over. So now we have one and 86 hundredths. Something really important that I want to show you when you're multiplying with um, decimals is that you know for sure how many decimals are going to be in your answer or how many decimal places are going to be in your answer by how many decimal places you have in the question okay now you should be able to use your place value understanding to know that this is six hundredths and this is eight tenths and this is one but just in case you want to check you see that there's two numbers to the right of the decimal three doesn't have any numbers to the right of the decimal we just have six and two so in our answer we're going to have two numbers to the right of the decimal Okay, so every time we do a vertical form, we'll double check that in case you have a question about that. You can catch on. Okay, so let's do one more problem with our uh, place value chart. So I'm going to need to clear the place value chart. There we go. All right, so our new question is 2 and 13 hundredths times 5. So 2 and 13 hundredths times five. Okay, so now's a good time to think 
about which one you're going to put in the place value chart because you could put five ones in your place value chart. That wouldn't be a problem. But the problem would be how do you show two and 13 hundredths of that? All right. So you always want to put your decimal, the one that has less than one in your place value chart and then show five of those. OK, so we're going to show two ones. And we're going to go ahead and do that five times. OK, so you might already be thinking that that's going to make 10, right? Just move myself there. OK, so I have three of them. There we go. Oops. Four of them five of them. Okay. So once again, these are sets of twos, right? Twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. because I have, I'm multiplying by five. So I'm showing five groups of two, and then I'm going to do the same thing and show five groups of tenths. I'll try to put them next door because they're with those numbers, right? These are only close together just because I ran out of space down there, right? So we have one tenth times five, which is five tenths. Then I have three hundredths, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Once again, I'm going to do five groups of three hundredths. Okay, five groups. Okay, while I'm talking about this, I don't want to forget. The question of lesson 14 is, what did the triangle say to the circle? In video two, your second hint is point. Hopefully you watched video one, so you know the first uh, part of the answer, but the second one is point, and you'll have to watch the third one to get the last word in the question. Okay, so these are just moved over here because that's where they landed, but let's make them look nice. All right, so... 2 times 5. Oh, let's start with the hundredths because when we multiply, we start with the hundredths, right? Okay, so 3 times 5, that is 15, right? 3 times 5 is 15. I can't put 15 in my hundredths column. I have to carry 1. So I'm going to do the same thing with my place value chart. I'm going to take 10 of them. There's 10 of them, and I'm going to make one tenth. Okay, I'll leave it there so that we know that one's from there. And that leaves five left over. Do you see the five here that are still in the tenths place, in the hundredths place, right? And these guys regroup together because ten hundredths makes one tenth, as you can see right there. Okay, so now I have five times one tenth right here. 5 tenths plus one more. So that's going to make 6 tenths. Okay. Then I have 5 times 2. And I have to group all these together because there's 10 of them. Right? So that is actually going to move next door to the tens column. And I'm just going to grab, oh, can't grab that. I'm going to grab a 10. Doesn't want to stay there. There we go. I'm going to grab a 10 because 5 times 2 is 10 and there's nothing in the ones column. Do you see that? Okay. Now, there's my decimal. I know that it's 10 and 65 hundredths, right? So my decimal goes right there 10 and 65 hundredths. It's not 106 and it's not 1065. Definitely not. But if I want to double check, then I'm going to look. And I see that I have two digits to the right of the decimal. And in my answer, I have two digits to the right of the decimal. Awesome. That's everything for place value chart. You can get the disks and practice. You can use the place value charts that are in the dry erase sleeves and practice. And the word is point. Nice job. Thanks so much for watching.